Hello everyone, my name is Loco and today we're going to be talking about drops versus Taran. I've gotten a lot of questions over the last few weeks, mostly considering Taran drops. So we got a message right here from uh, our buddy Ryan, he says Thanks Loco for all the video on build orders and dealing with many problems. They really helped me to get to Platinum, however now I'm in Platinum, all the Terrans that I play to are double drucking me and I find it very hard to be active at two places at once. Do you have an effective way to deal with this sort of stuff? Okay, so dealing with drops has always been really tricky, right? Let's say you're like in Gold League or whatever and your opponent all of a sudden drops into your main base and you figure out, oh damn it, I can lose hatcheries really fast versus Swarm Marauders. Everyone had this experience at Zerg at least once and you sort of just lose because you didn't have proper overlord spread. So that fix was pretty easy. What you started doing in most situations was just sort of put an overlord on all the possible flying locations, all that kind of stuff. And you see these uh, the incoming drops coming into your main base and you just have army ready to deal with it. Okay, that was a pretty easy fix, but let's say you see one dropship moving out into your main. You move your entire army over there and you're waiting for the drop and then all of a sudden he also drops at the third base. You run your army to the third base and he is also in the main base meanwhile attacking and you sort of get in this weird triangle where your macro completely slips. You're losing almost two bases to two silly drops and you sort of lose the game right there. Okay, now there are a few different things to discuss when it comes to dealing with these sort of drops where they go for like double or even triple pronged aggression. Because sometimes they will drop in the main, drop in the third and push out with their main army. How do you deal with that? Well, first of all, most of the time, as soon as Mutalisks are out, the Terran shuts down drops completely. You have to realize that because once the Mutalisks are out, they don't really know where the Mutalisks are located. They might be like somewhere in the dark Zerg base. They have absolutely no clue where the Mutalisks are at. So usually, as soon as the Terran sees a glimpse of Mutalisk, they will stop dropping completely. So first of all, I once again come back to the part where you need to follow a super standard build order. There's only a small timing window where really drops can do you a lot of damage and it is right when you hit lair, but right before the mutilates go out. And usually that is right around the 9 minute or so in game time. Okay, so now you realize that mutilates are the way to go to deal with most of the drops and to basically deny dropping altogether. You need to be realizing how you get and survive that little tiny timing window that the Terran does have to drop into your main and third base. I can give you one magic rule to basically deal with the problem that helped me out a ton and I believe this was by Chef like way long ago when he used to livestream a lot but he said as soon as I see one medevac flying on my side of the map so let's say it's heading towards the main base I instantly assume there's also a medevac going through my third base and that was like mind blowing to me so what you want to do is that as soon as you see one medevac move out, maybe it flies past an overlord, maybe it flies past the watchtower, you also instantly assume there is a second dropship on the opposite side. So on most maps that will be meaning that they will drop the main base and the third base, some maps it will maybe be the third base and the natural, but you need to always think he will be dropping me with double medevacs. So what happens in that situation is that you send half your army to the main base where you spotted the dropship already incoming, but while you're doing that you sort of box your army into two parts and send the other half to your third base or whatever the second droppable location is. And this way you will be able to deal with both drops really, really, really efficiently until Mutalisks are out. Now you actually notice this sort of a thing, especially once you start watching the pro gamers, they oftentimes even split up their army in three possible drop locations. Because they usually have a whole lot of Zergings out, a whole lot of Virgins and all that kind of jazz. And they don't really need that much to deal with eight Marines or maybe four Marauders, you know? They only need a really small amount of units. So the golden rule... Whenever you want to deal with Terran drops, is to always split up your army as soon as you see one dropship and spread them between all the droppable places in your main base and in your third base and in the natural. That way you will actually have quite an easy time to deal with the meta effect. Now in the later part of the game, once you've maybe done a couple of fights and you maybe have four bases secured or so, you can definitely start thinking about dropping down a bunch of static defense because most of the time two spines or two spores will deal with any kind of dropping in the entirety of the game pretty much. Um, however, you don't really want to do that too early because it gets super expensive. However, if you're gonna go for something like Roach, Baneling, Zergling or whatever, you're probably not gonna go Mutalisk that fast, so you will also need to drop down the static defense a bunch earlier. So yeah, that is pretty much the most effective way that I learned to deal with double medevac drops. It actually still helps me out a ton. Just split up your army as soon as you see one medevac fly in and assume your opponent is super good and he's also double or even triple dropping at the exact same time. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. Bye. Hmm. What does this do? Nothing.